If you use Canva to create graphics for your business, then you're going to be really excited to see some of the new things that Canva are bringing out. The Canva Create event has just happened and they've announced some new and exciting things. So in this video, let's check out some of these new features and also how you can use them and apply them when creating graphics for your business. All right, so this Canva Create was mostly focused on the workplace. So mostly things for companies and teams. Now you as a small business are probably wondering what new features are there? What new things there for me? What things am I going to benefit from? Because I'm not this big company. I haven't got this huge team. So what things are new and exciting that I can use in Canva? So first of all, they have redesigned Canva. So when you first log in, if you want to see the new redesign, you go up here where it says for you and you're going to click on it seven times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and the new Canva comes. So it will take you through this thing. If you want to watch their little fun video, you can. Otherwise, you can just proceed straight away. Um, it's up to you if you want the fun of it. But basically, that'll bring you to the new Canva. So the new Canva looks like this. So they've tried to redesign it in a way that makes it easier to use and gives you more space for designing. So they haven't gone too crazy different, so it still feels familiar like Canva, but there's some new features and just is designed in a way that just feels like you've got more space to just get in there, work and create your designs. So you'll notice now that most of the stuff is over on the side here and you've got that nice big create a design button and also you've got over here your home projects, templates, your brand and then apps. So it's easy to access all the things you need. I also noticed that things you most recently or commonly used are right up here. So when you go to create a design, if you're constantly creating something the same size, you can actually got that sort of a quick link to be able to create that design size, which is really awesome. Okay, so let's have a look what has changed new is new redesign so let's go into a design and have a look how it actually looks when you're designing something now so as you can see the page is nice and big we have heaps of space to design in now if you want to shrink it down of course you can go and shrink it down and now we go and click in and start designing you can see that it looks a little bit different now so now what you've got up the top here is your little tools that used to be that four big toolbar click off away from a design it disappears which makes it really easy to look at your design without anything getting in the way so as you're working on things you've quickly got those tools right at your fingertips to use to actually um, you know edit things so if we wanted to change something so let's say we wanted to change this so we've clicked on that this has popped up we can see the font so we can quickly pick a different font we can change the size we can change the color so it's all there really easy and quick to get sort of made it really quick to design things so that's really focused on getting in there getting your design not trying to figure out where all the tools are where is this hidden and all that so you've got everything just there at your fingertips ready to go now when you're going to add new things on your design obviously you've got over here your regular things of elements and text and all that so if we come over here elements you've got all your elements as usual you've got your text and as you can see it's just feeling a lot brighter now rather than that more dark mode they had here you've now got it more in a light mode so it's really easy to see everything it also looks like they've updated the text suggestions here all these really nice designs so it's a little bit more modern and fresh too so i've obviously tried to keep with the times with design too so that camera isn't feeling stale and uh, you know the designs aren't feeling real dated they've really updated things so that things feel fresh and new and it's all really awesome so don't panic that things are going to look different and you've got to try and figure all this stuff out because it's all different it's very similar to before it's just tried to make things a little bit more easy to grab and get as you design and giving you more space to design so you can of course zoom in here you can grab that and you've just got that little toolbar there to help you get the things that you need as you're designing so it's just making things heaps easier now, they've also made some upgrades to the Magic Studio. So there's a few different magic things that they've upgraded. So they haven't necessarily brought heaps of new stuff in, but more just enhanced things that they already had. So one thing new is in Elements. If you go to Elements and under the AI Image Generator and generate your own, in the past, as you know, you could create images and you could, you know, generate some sort of image. Now you can also go to graphics. So this is very handy if you've been looking through all the graphics and just can't find what you're after. If you need to communicate something through a graphic and you just can't find the graphic you want, 
now you can generate your own graphics, which is really awesome. So it's not just those photos and images. We can actually generate those little graphic elements. So let's think of a graphic element we can try and generate. So let's say we're looking for a typewriter. So we put in typewriter and generate graphics. Now, obviously you can get a bit more specific than that if you want to put in more details. And as you can see, here it is, it's generating some typewriter graphics for us. So if we were looking through, looking for typewriters, you're like, I just don't like any of the ones in there. You can start generating your own. And as you can see, you can also choose styles. So if you were after a particular style that you just couldn't find, you could actually select that. So you could say, I really want this risograph style. And you could actually go in and create that. Now, so let's put one on the page and see how it looks. So there we have our typewriter, but maybe we want to get more detailed. So let's try a risograph and let's say we want a particular color. So maybe we could say a blue typewriter with a bird on it just to get a bit more specific. And we'll see what we get from that. And here we go. Look how cute these are. And they're so unique and interesting too. So you can really start to create some really cool graphics that you just couldn't find already on Canva. And it's really helpful too if you really need a particular thing. So like this, you probably couldn't find a typewriter with a bird on it. You may have been able to find the separate elements, but maybe they didn't match quite right and had that same style to them. So this can be so handy when you're stuck and just can't find the right graphic for what you need. You can actually generate it now. And as you can see, it is resizable and easy to just place on the page. Super easy. And this is a really awesome tool that I think will be very handy. So more from the Magic Studio, let's have a look at editing photos. So if we click on a photo, it instantly has that background remover thing for us. So now that's actually a quick link. So if you're trying to remove backgrounds for things, you don't have to go to the edit image background remover. It's right there quick and easy to get hold of. Now, if you want some of the other tools, we can just click on edit and they pop up over here. So it's not taking away this anymore. You're not having to go back and all that sort of thing. It's popping up as a separate thing over on the side so we can quickly edit our image. Now, something that's been updated here is Magic Grab. So, so let's try this Magic Grab because it's got some new updates. So we go in Magic Grab and you can see here it's got this new thing called Click. So first you just got to wait and as you can see, it's looking at all the different elements on the page. And as we hover, they go purple. So all these elements, we have the opportunity to grab off the page. So let's say, for example, we decide we don't want that printer there. It's kind of annoying. We can actually click on that and press grab. Now, once it's ready, it takes you back to your page. And as you can see, you can now grab that element. So we could say, I didn't want that printer there anymore. You can grab it and move it away or you could make it small, move it somewhere else. So, or you could, you know, put it in a different way on the page. So you can really get creative with that because now it allows you not to just move that main person or that main subject in the image, but now you can grab all kinds of elements on that page. So if you want to move all different elements around, you have the ability to now do that. Or maybe we want to emphasize something. So maybe we wanted this printer to really stand out. Maybe we're making this YouTube thumbnail. And we really want this printer to stand out. We can grab it and make it bigger to make it stand out. So there's so many different things you can do in creating a graphic using that magic grab now. So that's really handy. It's more than just getting in behind and moving a person around. We can move any element on that page now. So the other thing they've upgraded is magic right. So let's put in some text here. So let's say that we're advertising something and we've just put in the basic text of what we want it to say, but we want to change it to our own brand a little bit. Just fix this up so you can read it. So this is our text. Now we're going to go to magic, right? And we're going to go here to change voice and apply brand voice. So you would have had to set that up in your brand kit, put in your brand voice to so describe what your brand voice sounds like. And now what it's going to do is update that to sound a bit more like you. So now it's set, as you can see, it's given it a bit more personality. So it's written it, snag yourself a bundle of digital treats to give your brand that little extra sparkle. So it's just really jazzed up your text. If you've just got that basic text and you're working on some sort of design, you're like, I really want this to sound more like my voice. So I just not too sure how to word it. That's how you can very quickly do it. And then you'll be like, wow, that sounds so much better now. And you didn't have to spend all this time thinking about how can I reword this? So that can be really handy, especially if you've put in good detail about how your brand voice should sound in the brand kit. So if you haven't done that, you go to brand kit. So back over to brand over here and you'll go to your brand kit and you actually put in here, see brand voice. So you can put in your brand voice details.
So talking of brand kit, let's have a look at this brand kit and see a new feature that they have in the brand kit. So if you go to up here, brand kits, so if you go brand, brand kits, and then go to a brand of yours or the brand that you're working on. And if you wanted to, maybe you've updated your logo and you've got all these designs and you need to update it, you can go here and actually replace across design. So if you've got a new logo at any stage, if your logo changes, you can actually go across here to replace across designs, upload your new logo, and it's going to update that logo wherever it showed up in your design. So if you had all these templates that you like to use and you're like, oh no, now I've got to remake them, put my new logo in, you can actually press this, replace across designs, and everywhere that, that you put that logo from your logo kit, it'll now put your new logo, which is very, very handy if your logo changes in any way, if you do a bit of a rebrand, it's going to speed things up so much for you. Now Canva has also introduced some features making it easier for people who are creating ads. So if in your business you use things like Facebook or Instagram ads, there are some tools that are going to help you with that. They've got bulk create so you can put in data and it can bulk create the ad designs for you. And there's also going to be integrations with Facebook. So you've got here, if you go into all apps and it's got the meta design check thing, you can actually come in here and you can use your design or start a new design. And it's going to give you tips about how you can actually make this better for an ad, which is so helpful. And they're also talking about how they're going to have integration soon. So you can actually post those graphics straight to an ad. So they're really trying to make it easier. If you are using ads in any way, you're using Canva to create that marketing material. It's going to make that process a lot easier for you. So if you do run ads, I would really recommend checking out those new features that they have for helping you design and post your ads so much easier. So I'm not going to go into heaps of detail in this because I know not everyone does run ads, but I know some small businesses do and they will find this really helpful. So if you do, make sure you go and check that out, find out about a bit more about how they do so you can create your ads and your ad creative so much more quickly and easily. So they are probably the main things that you're going to find helpful as a small business. But if you'd like to find out more about what they're doing, you can obviously over here explore where they've got, see what's changed and have a look. There are a lot of things that are for teams and big businesses this time because that was the focus of this particular Canva Create. But you can explore, look around, see what else you might find helpful for your workflow and what you do. But I hope that what I covered today just helps you to see some of the new exciting things that most of you small businesses are going to find helpful in the comments which of these features you're the most excited to try out and if you'd like to learn more about using canva about graphic design and branding then make sure you subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time